Right everybody, welcome to Matt Fry Golf. Welcome to Dave, look at him on the course. Good. Sun shining, the course looks great. We're down at Stockport, we're gonna zoom out for uh, four holes. We've just been on the putting green. If you haven't seen that video already, go and check that one out. Enjoy that lesson. Yeah, massively. Yeah, yeah. Really big yeah. 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 Fantastic, we enjoyed it. Yeah. That's what we want. The lads can get a little training night like you've just given us there. Yeah, those yeah, visos are, are great. Big yeah definitely so we're going to play four holes i hope if time allows us um we're starting off from probably the whole hardest hole on cheshire <laughs> opening and um, it's a par four it goes straight down here you've probably seen it on my other vlogs and then goes around the corner down into the bottom it's 440 the wind is howling off the left it, is, um, it goes right chaps i'm blaming that wind yeah it is the wind <laughs> so the line we've discussed you know we're treating this as a bit of a plane lesson really so yeah said to Dave you know it'd be ludicrous for him to you know aim down the right hand side when we know the wind's off the left and we know that your poor shot would be something that moves right so with today's conditions left edge of the fairway is a yeah. all day you know and if you pull it the wind's going to move it back anyway and any little bit of cut will drift back towards middle yeah try and aim for that bunker I think it just goes off. that's it let's uh let's get going then Ball just off the front foot, I feel that we're going to send it up into the air. Okay, a little necky. But safe running towards that bunker, yeah, you know, it's not. First tee shot's quite daunting, and the first sort of few shots on the course on YouTube are always <laughs> a tough one. They are. Road now, but if you were. Come on then, Matt, I'm sure how it's done. Yes. Yeah. That's gone straight, chaps. Right, pitched on the rock and kicked to the yeah. fairway. That'll do. Mm. That'll do. Flash first stiff one. Arrived at Dave's ball. Yeah. Two, 256 to the flag, which is all the way down there. Marley. Just poking over. Yeah, it's like I say, you know, it's four, 460 this par four. Yeah. Into and off the left today going to play long isn't it it will yeah. you know you've done the good thing by finding the semi rough just off the fairway yep. Happy with that. so 250 you know is it something where you leave yourself a yardage now have you got a favorite sort of pitch and yardage or do you just advance it as far as you can and leave yourself to uh, i think a, a couple of ways i mean yes i'd like to get somewhere around about 70 ish or something but okay. if that's not a possibility yeah then just try and get it as far as i can okay and hopefully leave a, maybe a wedge or a 9-iron or something like yeah. that. Yeah, okay. So you'd be looking at advancing it 180 then to leave yeah, yourself like 70. Yeah. Okay, a good idea. You know, like what I'd say to amateurs generally, instead of just thinking, well, flag's down there, go for it. If you've got a favourite yardage, yeah. try and leave it because you're going to have far much succession Yeah. if I mean, you're pitching with something that you like. Yeah, I mean, I kind of feel now, I mean, yeah, the fairway is massive, it's wide open. Oh, yeah. It's not but that big, there's a big dip down there and if bunker. If I try and get a, a three wood onto it, yeah, and just try and leather it to get up there, yeah, you know, try and be a pro, it ain't gonna work. No, I'm probably gonna end up on the right, yeah, exactly. You gotta, you know, just it's golf's like chess, you gotta plot yourself around that you have, yeah, you? yeah. So, going with rescue here, I have, yeah, just got a uh, just a, a three utility one, it's to 19 degree, okay, yeah, and it's, it's not a bad club, this I quite like this one. So we're going to do anything like obviously with wind are we factoring that in and i think with this one if i try and keep it low i'm not really going to have much wind affecting okay. it anyway yeah yeah uh, and i usually find this one does go a, a little bit low it doesn't go too high i don't get any booming okay. above trees with this one so but then again that could be proved wrong at the moment <laughs> yeah 
No stories on a card. Yeah. But there's videos on YouTube, Dave. <laughs> It's a nice suple swing what we worked on that last time. Don't have to leather it, just good rhythm. Little bit bottomy. But it kept it low. <laughs> yeah, kept it low. It's just yeah. gone trickling, but it's not the end of the world, is it? No, it isn't. You just yeah. got you know, get a, you know, we walk straight onto the course, you've not hit any shots. So. No, I haven't had a bit of a warm up. Yeah, so a couple of you know, couple of holes you get going. Warmer, but you know, you hopefully by a, a hole or two holes in it, I can warm up a bit more and and off we go. I should be all right then. Yeah, let's hopefully. get down there. <laughs> Caddy Dave bushnelling it now. 193, I make you there. 193. Got a couple in front anyway. Slag just down there. Yeah. 193. Yep. Wind into off the left, isn't it? It is, if you go above them trees. You Keep it low like my one, that won't affect yeah. you. <laughs> Found it, it's not a bad line in the rough, so for me it's just a normal 5 iron that should fly all the way. Right. Um, hit this like 205, so again, thinking of like where your miss is, for me, nothing right is there, we can see the pins tight right from where we are. Yep. We're just down the left of the telegraph hole, and if it comes in great, if not, I just hit the edge of the green. Yeah. If I miss it, I've got a load of room there anyway. Yeah, yeah. Where would you land this, Matt? Would you land it look, on the green, or would yeah, you I'd land be it before it. or something? Yeah. Uh, about 10 feet before Russell had tried. Right. That was nice, just slightly going to the right hand side. Yeah. yeah. Is there a bunker near the right there? Adam? Is there a bunker on the right no, or is it pretty clear? Over there. So just a little chip for yourself then? Yeah, simple. Unless you're on. <laughs> so yeah, so what was that, that number you said Dave? That was uh, 70. 70. Uh, yeah, and you've got that left in, okay. Yeah, that's what I wanted when we were back up there. Yeah, perfect. Kept yeah. it under the wind. So now, you know, like you said, when we talk back up there, gone down that side wasn't you know wasn't your best strike we know that but all you've got now is just that 70 yard pitch towards the flag That's it, yeah. you know didn't try anything crazy no. you know you think you hit the same shot with three woods the trees are only just there aren't they, they are, yeah. so all of a sudden yeah. we're in the trees so it's, it's about plotting your way around quite a lot even if you know we've not got massive control of the ball as much as, yeah. as you know from me to a pro to someone on tour yeah. you can still try and predict what's going to happen and play towards your strengths to put you in better positions yeah, can't yeah, you yeah. yeah you know and if, if i'm out of the trouble there and out of the trouble there you know i'm going to be a happier person yeah as well. a lot less stressful yeah. isn't it sure. yeah so 70 yards what are we going with uh, i'm going with me 50 degree okay uh, i'm going to probably play around about a three quarter if i can yeah uh, trying to land it same as what you was with last shot around about 10 foot short and see if I can just get yeah. it to roll up then. Yeah, I'll okay. Be happy. Yeah. Pin's pretty central there, so it just is, aiming yeah. straight at it or? Uh, in the bit of wind behind, if I'm keeping it low, then really the wind yeah. coming from the. You're going to try and keep it low with a wedge? Too much. So I'm trying to think if, if I can. One or two clubs to the left of the yeah, flag. Yeah, just no, normal shot, you know. Yeah. I wouldn't try and keep it low, just normal That's swing. Good, Allow yeah. for if the wind, if it moves, great, it's on target. Yeah. If not, yeah. two clubs left isn't no. the end of the world, is it? Yeah. rhythm see it landing on the green yeah. little skinny yeah, a bit thin, uh, a bit yeah. too much on the top as well there no problem no problem yeah, so it's celebrate. We've got to, you know, just chip up and down now. You make up and down, you, yeah. you're laughing. That's it. Yeah. Hey ho. So just a tad thin, wasn't it? Pitched on, yeah. Just 
the chassis. Yeah. You know, it's one of those, like I said, you know, you are, you've got a handicap of 21. Yeah. You can't expect to hit everyone great. That's it. We've not had a loosener, we've come straight out. That's it. You know, yeah. if you up and down it now, yeah. it's a five, isn't it? It's no drama, you know. Some people get too worried about how many they're taking sometimes. Yeah. You know, just settle down, think about your next shot. So here we've got something where got a bit of embankment there. We have, yeah. Then it's running away down towards the green, so. So uh, what, what club have you got here, Dave, sorry? Uh, I've got a uh, 54 Okay. On this one. Yeah. Um, oops, just move, sorry there, tree and all that. Um, just trying to land it on, aren't we, and let it run. Yeah. You know, some people will get into the trap of taking too much loft and you've got to float it a long way. Yeah, I mean, I was debating whether to take me 58 yeah. or take me 54. Yeah. But if I'm taking the 58, I feel like I'm going to try and get it to the flag. Yeah. Rather than if I can get the 54 on it and try and let it run up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just land it on. Yeah. Nice and easy and let it dawdle down to the hole. Yeah. Plain, simple shot. Land it a couple of feet on. Let it run. Beautiful. It's got, it's got a little bit of dirt yeah. on the edge of that green. Wasn't bad though, was it? You know, nice yeah. solid strike. Yeah, it's what I was after. Yeah, so you've got yeah. a chance at your five now, if not That's double. It. Not the end yeah. of the world to start I'll, I'll with. I'll walk away with a six for the first hole with yeah. no warm up. No problems. That's it. Well then, chaps, Matt's fanned himself just to the left of the green. He's not got too far to go. He's got a lot more green to work with. Yeah. Well, just on, let it run. Yeah. What club have you got on there, Matt? I've got my 56 out, so. Right. Magic yeah. That's it. That's nicely on. It's running up. Now, that, my dear boys and chaps and lasses, it's just going to be a tap in for Matt. Hey, that one. Yep. That practice works. That's it. Water, eh? Yeah, nice shot, Matt. <laughs> nice shot. You've obviously had a warm up. Yeah. <laughs> on the range for hours. <laughs> yeah. right, so on the green, you've got about 30 foot. About New putting stroke. Greens are looking brilliant here. It looks mega looking back up that way today. Um, I'm going to leave the flag in just for ease of seeing where the hole is, guys. You seeing a lot in it or not? There's not a great deal in it. There's, there's some in it. It's yeah. going to go a little bit towards the left when we get down towards the bottom. Yeah. Maybe around about a foot, foot and a half away from the hole. Yeah, I, I think like it's just a case, you know, understand we've made a couple of mistakes on the hole. Yeah. Just a few iffy strikes, roll it down, take your medicine, it, yeah. move on to the next. You know, you direct, you plotted it nicely, just not, yeah. not really, just struck it great. But like we say, you know, no warm up. Yeah. It's, it's that's tough that's to, to yeah you can't you can't come straight out of the gate can you and expect to start flushing it so yeah a couple of holes in you'll be okay yeah. you're gonna run and grab that flag no i'm gonna leave it <laughs> not that uh fit i so, the wrong police out you know oh well <laughs> it's 2019 anyway now <laughs> yeah i'll have that so let's see that better set up in this yeah that's it Stymied me. Great, weird. great pace. Yeah. Probably just moved a little bit more than you think. It is, yeah. yeah. It's a lot more than I We'll tap them in. Yeah. Slightly right head, but not a lot in it. Yeah, not, not a massive amount. It isn't. I'm just going to be confident with it and uh, just see it near the back of the hole. That's it. Good setup. Good roll. That's it. Setup looks better. Brilliant, nice putts, two solid putts there. I'm not going to tap mine in because yeah, we're going yeah, to move on. Right, so not a bad hole, 
few no. few indifferences one the strike was the only thing there wasn't it that was yeah I mean, it's just uh, it's in the ball whether it's you know no, not warm up yeah first team nerves whatever I don't it's a case of just forget this hole now yeah That's move on to the next got me medicine on it you know yeah uh, if, it, if it's a, a hole where I get two shots I'm going to walk away with you know two points and yeah exactly I'm happy with that. no disasters you know? that's the big no, thing no. isn't it right then let's get on to the next so we're on the second hole now down at Stockport just saying to Dave there's a bunker here on the right hand side that's at 190 roughly another one here on the left hand side can just make it out the lip of it that's about 220 so you know this this little vlog we're talking about like controlling your ball and placing your ball it's playing towards your strengths and not causing yourself too much stress and too much stress. you know pulling off these miracle shots for you know someone who's got a handicap you know above the teens number yeah, yeah. you know there's lots of people in your boat aren't there so there is i and, think there's a lot more in, in my category than what there is yeah in, in the lower ones category, definitely yeah. and you know a lot of people i would see get straight onto the tee driver it's par four driver yeah, yeah. you know that's going to bring in bunker number one and bunker number two isn't it it is yeah for me especially i mean the wind has kind of changed a little bit as well but into now isn't it's it and off the right so, so if you could leave yourself a just short of the first bunker the hole's 330 yeah you're only going to have 150 in which is yeah. what seven iron you've got a shot yeah. on the hole that's it yeah you know so it's a par five technically right so that makes it even better yeah me. i mean i could probably even laid up a bit more yeah and also maybe you know if i am 160 or whatever and feel i can't get to the green yeah I still take the seven iron or whatever yeah and, and then little chip. A chip on yeah you know, yeah it's a lot easier bit. to chip and put than hit it close oh, yeah. from 200 yards isn't and it, it is. yeah so knowing that we've got these bunkers here probably the bigger area to land is down the left isn't it yeah i'm, I'm going to be aiming you know towards the left hand side towards where the the green and white trees are yeah you know that's that's my plan right um I do get a little bit of a fade with this club as well. Okay, wind's so a bit off the right. Me. The yeah. wind's going to help as well. So, yeah. you know, I feel that that's going to be the shot for me. Yeah, sounds if, like. If you do mess it up, you know, there's, there's still plenty on the right where if it does go over there, I'm not going to be in the tree. Yeah, you know. perfect. Nice smooth swing. And do you have a little routine for picking a target when you... Um, yeah, I mean, it's like I pick my target in the distance. Yeah. Uh, and then I kind of follow from there to where my ball is and then try and something about a foot right about perfect a, yeah you know a club at the most away from it if I can try and get it a little bit closer you know if I, I've got here at the moment there's like a little bit of brown patch and the twig and I'm thinking if I can get in the middle of that middle of there, that's about perfect where I yeah a lot easier to aim to something a foot away than oh, yeah. 250 yeah. yards away isn't it that it is yeah I mean you know it's good to look down the middle but yeah don't aim yeah, got, yeah. There, take you know. care of this first little bit yeah. get it started online and you can't be too far wrong yeah nice smooth swing then good grip and that is a perler, Dave. Don't go that I think I might be just short. I think you're just short of it, yeah. So that's you know, perfect. Great, you know. Yeah. I, well, I've just seen it appear now. Excellent. Done everything you've done. Started it down the left. That yeah. little fade that we know you've got. Yes. And yeah. it's moved back to target. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Happy with that one. I'll uh, try and lay up to a similar distance. <laughs> just so I don't. What would you do normally do? Would you try and go for it? Driving. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube, innit? Yeah, yeah. So for me, like that distance is going to be like a five iron. To right. To 190. Yeah. Somewhere around there. But then again, I should only have a wedge in from there. And yeah. My wedge is a half decent, you know. Just hit it pretty close. Yeah. Instead of hitting something driver wise, for me, if I tweet, you know, if I'm not online with driver. Yeah. I'm dead. Yeah, and, you know, yeah. It is it, tight up there, isn't it, with the driver? Stick. If it was playing a comp, I'd be uh, iron and then wedging. Right. So where are we aiming for on this one, Matt? Same as you. Same as me? Yeah. Oh, it's just gone a little bit to the right. Just kind of pushed it a bit. It's still in play, though. Yeah. 
He's been sociable with me, he's just to the right, but absolutely perfect for a nice shot in, yeah. Not uh, taking enough club to get into it, so it's just, yeah. it's just allowing for the situation basically, plotting your way. Yes. If you hit a bad one, what will happen if you hit the bad one and then just wipe it out by your club selection? That's it, yeah. yeah. You know, if it means just taking a, another club more for your second shot, yeah. then so be it. Yeah, you exactly. know. Well then chaps, we uh, find Matt's ball. It's not too bad, it's lying no. okay as well. Good yeah. Strike, but just a little bit of the old movement in there. Yeah. Uh, pin's right at the back here. It is, I'll just it see if I can move. zoom on that for you chaps. Yeah. So okay. it looks like he's got a lot to work with, a lot of green and things. Yeah. It's a bit of a slim green, but I'm going to go seven iron. It is one it's wind into, but right. I'm going to land it mid of the green here. Yeah. yeah. Let it feed on a little bit, and that'll be fine. You know, so if I play, play at 150, yeah. I'll be playing one, probably close to 170 today with this wind. Seven iron is going to be the, be the one. All right. Nice little punchy number. Keep it a bit lower. Straight that's it. Yep. Pop it on there. Going a little to the right, yeah, just over the bunker. Well, you just saw it bounce there, chaps. Yeah, I mean, it, it started off looking bang on, yeah. and that little bit of wind just caught it as well. Just been working on something, and I can actually draw it now a little bit. Yeah, uh, don't expect to see it drawing, which is odd. So, right, got all out for it now. No, yeah. So, we have got down to Dave's ball, it's pretty much slap bang center of the fairway. I'm happy with this one, level with that bunker and just short of that bunker so you know you planned to get it into this position didn't you that was it yeah you know and if i if i didn't hit it as well maybe i was going to be a little bit more yeah shorter, yeah exactly still nowhere near these here yeah you know? you've you've done what you know what you said on the tin basically haven't you you know yeah. the poorer one would have been shorter yeah. wouldn't have got you know much out of it. it hit it best you can you've left it shorter the left hand one yeah. and allowed for the wind That's and your shape of shot to keep away from that one That's so it. yeah I mean, I, I, I could have got the driver out and just banged it. It is you, true. But yeah. I should have done it. But, yeah, exactly. You know, at the end of the day, I want to try and make Im a decent yeah. score if I can. Like, you know. That's it. So now you're faced with, uh, you know, a bit of an easier shot because it's slightly shorter. You got 120. 120. We've yeah. got some bunkers there on the left, there is, yeah, and then on the one on the right. Well, short for me. So yeah, that's front you know, left of the green. Of, yeah, I want to kind of forget that. The only one that's kind of worrying me is the one on the right. One on the right, yeah. Because I'm going to be aiming that way, mm -hmm. the way the wind is. The, they're both front, so looking at this now, there's not a lot of trouble at the back. Right. Back right, if you missed over that bunker on the right hand side, got past it, yeah. you're fine. Yeah. So it'd be a case of now, you know, we know that left, front left, generally everything moves a little left to right for you, so we could aim yeah. at the flag here. Right. and let it slide yeah so if that flags 120 something that you fly 115 to 120 yeah well yeah. It, it, as a standard we yeah. know that the wind's into yeah. now so, so it's playing probably the best part of 140 this yeah all the way to that flag so yeah. if you thought I number, yeah i was thinking nine iron to start yeah you know so it's something that you're going to fly yeah maybe if i go with a nice smooth eight instead actually Think, yeah, you're sorry about the wind noise there, guys. I can obviously see how windy it is here oh, at the minute. It's, it's really windy. It was nice on the other half, yeah. but uh, hurricane. This one is well blowing. So here. again, you've got to, you know, you, you see that bunker up on the right hand side that will yeah. probably be the big danger zone for you. Yeah. We've just got to make sure that's taken out of play. So yeah. that's 110 to that, or probably not even that 105. So yeah. something you hit 130 yeah. cancels that out pretty much, it does. doesn't it? it now we don't have to hit it. 10 feet all the time somewhere on or around the green yeah pin high right chipping a putt you pick up a shot with your handicap that's it that's yeah. the, you know that's the big thing isn't it one. yeah you know not making you you know if you try and no, take some wonder shot on leave it in the bunker yeah. you know it's not, you know who's to say i'm going to take two or three coming out of the exactly yeah don't know yeah. until we're actually in that situation do we so what have we gone with so i'm going to go with a nice smooth eight okay you know, nice bit of I'm not, I'm not going to really leather it. Yeah. You know, 
Um, try and let the club do the work for me. That's it. Um, there's, a, there's a nice little divot just in front of me ball as well. What are you going to aim towards? I'm going to be kind of just aiming over there, maybe just a little slightly to the left of it, you know. Um, and hopefully it'll just stay nice and straight for me, you know. Sounds like a plan. It does. See if it works. <laughs> It's a good grip, that grip we've worked on. Yep. Nice rhythm, just feel you release it a tad. Good smooth swing. Just pulled slightly. Just well, landed over his left shoulder, but you've taken all the bunkers out of play. I have, yes. You know, you've you've stuck. You know, you've equated to knowing where they are, yeah. clubbed up so we don't go in them, go and in. that actually won't be too bad now where that's landed. It's landed just, just on the left edge of that bunker, guys, and it'll bounce down, and you'll have a fairly simple pitch back up. Yeah. As where you know, if you would have taken your nine iron, you're in that bunker. Could have been in the bunker. And you've yeah. got a tricky shot then because it's quite a steep face on that one. Yeah. So by, you know, going through it and actually planning your, your shot a little bit, thinking where's my miss, where yeah. do I leave it if I hit a yeah, poor yeah, one, yeah, yeah. you get away with much more. I think you do. Yeah? Yeah. Right then, let's get down there. Right then, chaps. We find Matt just in between the two bunkers here. So we got the bunker on the left. That was nowhere really in play. But then we had another one that was just here as well. And he's found himself in the middle. I've been quite fortunate actually, I've gone over the next bunker as well. Just taking that extra little bit of the club with the eight iron has paid dividends because if I probably took a, a nine, I could have been either in this bunker here or that bunker there. So I think that's, that's kind of worked out for me better. You right then Matt, how are we playing this? Um, I've got 50 straight back into the wind and uphill, so I'm going to land it four or five feet on and let it run up the hill a bit more. Right, just show you that guys. You've got a fair bit of green there to work with before we get to the pin. Yeah, so nice bit of magic from uh, from Matt now. Okay. He's starting to release. Just to, yeah, he's got a little bit of work there. Yeah, yeah. I think I might see that one in. <laughs> right, so we found ourselves at Dave's ball. He's just over the back of the green. If we just get to where his ball is actually and just shoot back down. So Dave was around about centre of the shot now there. So the green's actually on an angle. As you've come in, you've taken enough club to go over that first bunker we That's talked true. about, which yeah, is yeah. just over there and get past the flag. You know, if you leave it short, there was, you, a, there was a lot of trouble, lot, wasn't there? Was a, yeah, a lot of trouble. So a lot of amateurs generally just see the good old thing over there, the yeah, flag, flag and, that, and that, that is it. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of stuff around it That's and it. we don't all hit it perfectly straight all the time. No, we don't. So it's, you, a, know. you know, allowing, and this is what this video is really about, just allowing yourself some breathing space yeah. for your poorer shots, you know. Yeah. We don't hit it great all the time. No, we don't. And no, if you can, can probably see for you know, if we, yeah, you know, I've not hit it online yet yeah. to where yeah. I've, I wanted to and walked off with a par at this first hole and exactly. hit yeah. a poor chip there, but That's nothing true. disastrous, is it? No, we, you know, we've not found ourselves under trees and things like yeah. that. You know, we've been able to play another shot straight after the first one. Exactly. Did, so, you know. Just keeping those big, big, no, you know, big numbers off the scorecard. The amateurs of your, you know, your round your handicap and high teens, low teens. Yeah. If you want to get down, you've got to keep the eights and nines off, haven't you? Yes. And if you just, you know, yeah, yeah, exactly. You just creeping. plot your way round a little bit more, think, right, okay, I know I slice it or I know I hook it a bit more, yeah. you know, factor that in, choose yeah. spots take out of you know take bunkers out of play take water out of play instead of yeah. trying to hit the miracle shot I think you know lay up and wedge over yeah okay it's not going to go to plan every time no, no. but you'll have far more success and keep those big numbers off your card That's it. Yeah. so that being said you found yourself here uh -huh. you've yeah, got a quite a simple chip and run now little chip and run yeah i've got a nice lie as well um, Shooting so back feel, up the green you know, a bit. I'm on, on a shot where I enjoy, I, I do like this type of shot. Yeah. You know, I'll be quite 
quite happy just taking you know my nine iron or even an eight or even a pitching wedge depending on yeah. where the flag is on the green okay uh, at the moment i've got my nine yeah um, and I'm, I'm just going to kind of see if i can get it halfway to start off with and just let it roll up to the arm okay you know? so you see it sort of flying 50 percent through yeah, the air running 50 yeah, yeah, yeah a little bit uphill as well isn't it so i'd say normally i'd probably say um nine iron would be 40 flight 60 yeah. run but with this being uphill a little bit of wind factored right i think you, you spot on yeah. there yeah. so would you pick a spot that you would try and land it to or anything or yeah i mean there's a, there's a lighter bit of, of the green yeah the there. So i'm kind of thinking maybe just before it or even on it yeah you know somewhere there and then that should just roll up nicely i can't see it if I hit that point going too far past the pin yeah unless you know it's an Augusta green or yeah like no that, no they're, know, they're, they're good greens but they're they're only about nine on the stump at the yeah. minute you know, so that's what I'm, I'm kind of aiming for and you know if I can get this close enough and give me a, a you know a tapping or something I'll be uh, you'll yeah, beat me so pick your little chip and run anything in your setup that you're going to change you're going to have um, weight I'm, a bit I'm more gonna, forwards yeah I'm going to keep my feet than what I would do if I was doing, say, a normal chip, because I want a little bit more con feel control with yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to kind of just keep it a little bit more onto me left. Yeah. Okay, and I'm going to do it like it's actually a putting stroke. Excellent, yeah. Okay. So you've got a nice little putt. Just pop move. it on yeah. and let it run out. Yeah. Sounds lovely, that. Again, it's I'll nearly as nice as the weather. Yeah. I think you're learning from me, you know, how to <laughs> talk a good game. <laughs> nice and smooth see that journey you know in your mind's eye thinking about where you're landing it and imagine that ball rolling up nice and close you've got what 10 feet for par That's it, yeah, yeah probably just need a little bit more acceleration in that more, stroke yeah, yeah just a bit more to it yeah. but again you so know that was the, it's not a disaster is it? No, it isn't and that, and that was the shot for me to play rather than yeah definitely trying to get a lob wedge yeah or a, you know a, a sand iron under it or something i think you know if you if you're around this area of the green treat it like it's a yeah put, yeah that nine iron or advocate an rolling wedge, it quicker than and just roll it up there because it, it's going to roll better than what it is if it's just yeah, it's hard, it, yeah. You know? harder to judge flying all the way a lot easier to get it rolling like a putt that's it yeah, yeah. a lot easier yeah. to more controllable yeah. so let's go and watch you roll it in then yeah So you've got a chance at par now Dave, you've done everything right so far, um, looking at, you know, when you're reading a putt will you look at the surroundings as well, look at the total of the green or just that distance between you and the hole? Well, that, I mean I'd, I'd like to try and look a little bit more around it, a lot of people kind of just look straight there and yeah. go around to where your side is, but I think you've got to take into consideration if you come to the side, yeah. whether it's an uphill or downhill, there's no green that's just perfectly flat. True. A little bit of a crest isn't there there, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, try it's trying to find the low point, isn't it? Find the high point and the low point. And what how your puts you know factors in in between those two points so the high points over here guys and the low points down here so that would probably suggest that that ball would move a little bit to the right and downhill ever so slightly so dave i would think will probably aim this about maybe a ball outside the left so remember that new setup yeah. that we've seen in the previous video feeling a bit taller that grip with the left, yeah. Finger on the left hand down the shaft a little bit more to try and stop that left wrist from breaking as much. Down that grip as well. That's it. Relieves a bit of tension. Nice smooth roll.
just lacked a tad of pace, but you've got made the easiest five ever. Oh yeah. Good half, not giving you a shot. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so that's been a little bit of a playing sort of vlog there for me and Dave. Just trying to think a little bit more about where we place the golf ball and how we think around the golf course instead yeah, of just yeah, yeah. aiming down the middle and aiming at the flag so much, thinking Which, about... You know, I've been doing it for years, yeah. you know, things like that, you know. Yes, you kind of think, oh, bit of wind here, bit of wind there, and you, you're trying to compensate for it. But then sometimes the bunkers out there, you know, the, the fairway could only be... 20 yards across if you're going for a, a driver point, hit. Yeah. So forget that driver hit, take the three wood, you know, or something just a little bit less and you've got a wider fairway to aim for. That's it. Yeah. Perfect. He's learning. He's yeah, learning. I'm getting there. <laughs> Excellent. So if you have enjoyed the vlog, do remember to click the like button. Also subscribe to the channel, totally free. Why not? Follow Dave. On social media, on Twitter, learning with learn with Lawley. Learn with Lawley. Learn yeah, with yeah. Lawley. And remember to follow me on my social media too. And we'll see you soon with more videos.